Here's what we're going to do in this tutorial. We've got a health bar UI at the top of the screen and a health bar script. And whenever we change the health on the health bar script, it updates the UI. The only thing that we've got in this project so far is one square white image is set to import a sprite. The first thing we're going to do is create the black background which the health bar is going to sit on top of. So I'm going to create an image, set it to be fairly wide, anchor this to the top of the screen. I'm going to set its colour to black so we have a black background. Uh, I'll rename that to background and then underneath that I'll create another image which is going to be our health bar and I'll set the anchors to be fully within the parent and add a little offset on top, bottom, left and right. And this is where we set that image we were talking about earlier. This allows us to set our fill property um, and we're going to want it as horizontal so it's going to swipe from left to right like that, which looks like a cool health bar. Finally, I'll set that colour to red and attach a health bar script to it, which we're going to write now. I'll import the Unity UI namespace um, and then we can grab a reference to our health bar image. I'll do that in the start function. Next, we're going to want two properties, one for the maximum health and one for the current health value. I'll make the current health value public so that we can change it from in the editor. In the update function, uh, we're going to change the fill amount property of this image, which is the amount that it swiped from left to right. Uh, and that's just going to be the current health divided by the total possible health. So that's a value between 0 and 1. If we go and try this out, when we play with that public health value on the health bar field, we can see the UI change in to match that. So that's a UI scroll bar in Unity at breakneck speed. I need to catch my breath.